Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, let's talk about choosing to waste my money on these silly luxury handbags rather than using my money to retire early, to go and live by the sea, or to be completely and utterly mortgage free on everything in life and using that money in what a lot of people would deem to be a much more sensible financial way. This comes from comments that I get left on my videos. I have had in Q&A videos and on other videos commentary saying that if you didn't waste so much money on these things, because let's be honest, they're not cheap and I fully accept that, you would be able to retire. You would be able to go and live in the sun. You would be able to not work. You would have no mortgage, nothing. Everything would be completely and utterly accounted for. So why are you spending your money on these? Now, before I get started on this, let me just make this clear. I am not making this video to explain myself, even though I will be explaining myself, but I'm not, the motivation for making this video is not that I feel that I have to explain myself or account for myself. I just think it's a really interesting topic. And I think it's interesting to face that because if you are a luxury lover, if you buy these things, there comes a whole lot of judgment with it. Whole lot of judgment from a whole lot of people. And if you take that a step further and choose to put yourself out on Tinternet, on YouTube, and show all the fancy dancy expensive handbags, you're inviting that commentary. And I have always said that if someone has a criticism to make, or if there is commentary to come at me for my choices, when I choose to put that out onto the internet, I have to accept that that's going to come with it. Now, some people take it a little bit far and be a little bit rude or a little bit mean. There's no need for that. We can all have dissenting opinions. We can all differ. We can all think different things, but we can be respectful in the way that we do it. I don't think there's a need for certain personal attacks that creators can suffer. But if I get a comment like that that challenges me and challenges my choices and my way of doing things, I have absolutely no difficulty in addressing that and facing that because I'm making the choice. It's my money. I can do with my money what I choose, but I do choose to put myself out on the internet. And if somebody is going to raise what is a legitimate question, all right, some of you may think it's none of their business and it might not be, but I choose to put myself out here. So I choose to invite that question and that commentary so I'm going to talk about it, if that's something that some of you are interested in. And the question being, all of these, if I just didn't do this, if I clicked that switch, or that finger, switch, switch, what do you do? You switch a switch, you click a finger, anyway, you get, you get what I mean. If I hit the button, and I moved past all of this, and I no longer spent any money on these things, and I sold and got rid of all of the money that's sitting around us in this room, I could do other things with that money. Absolutely I could. There is no getting away from that. There is no getting away from all of this could go in with my investments, could go in with my pensions, could go into the stocks, could go into the house, could do so many things that would allow me to be early retired or all of the other things that were suggested in the comment box. And I know that there has been a shift away from luxury purchasing over recent times. There was a bubble, and I talked about this in another video about YouTubers leaving the luxury space. There was a bubble, there was a hype over lockdown. People were bored, I was bored. We couldn't go anywhere, we couldn't travel. So we found these and we bought more of these and we found luxury YouTube and it became more of a thing. And certainly I bought more over that period than what I normally do buy or I have ever bought before. But I still love these, still love them. And Yes, there has been a shift for a lot of people to move away from buying luxury or watching luxury content and they are probably making more sensible choices with their money and investing it and paying off mortgages and doing things that are going to give you a bigger, greater financial reward and a bigger reward in the long term in your life than what it is spending money on one of these. Because so, contrary to what people will tell you and contrary to some of the videos you will watch and some of the reels I've seen on Instagram which make me hide behind a pillow where there are luxury sellers telling you that you should invest in the bags, these are not financial investments. As much as people may feel that my purchases are foolish, yeah, can be, 
I actually do also have financial investments and I've talked about this before. I have a financial advisor. It is not as if all my money is sitting on the shelves. These are for fun. I love them. They're an investment into my wardrobe. Yes, there's value in them, but they're not a financial investment. I do not buy handbags for my money to grow and then to sell because that would not be a sound financial investment policy. And if you're thinking about investing, if you're wondering where your money should go, what you should put it into, please take proper regulated financial advice. There are people on the internet that give great advice and they might be absolutely right, but just check it with a proper financial advisor to make sure the choice that you're making with your hard earned money is the right one and is going to work for you. So yes, absolutely, I could be investing more if I put all of this in as well, but I do have investments. That's the first thing. It's not as if all my money's on these shelves. I have a number of different places where my money goes and that is looked after by somebody who knows what they're doing and looks after where my money would go, but still doesn't get away from the point this person was making. If I added these in, there would be further towards the goal. There would be more in the pot. There would be more saved, invested. I could work less. And let's just have a chat about that. Firstly, I love what I do. Love it. Sometimes I don't always love running a business. It's very, very stressful. It's very, very difficult and it can get very, very busy. But I would not choose to not be doing my daily job now. I am 42 years old. Personally, for me, Unless I was to be a multi, 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 multi millionaire that had the money to do whatever I wanted, that had the money to still do something but I didn't need to earn from it, that I could still give back to the world, that I could travel whenever I wanted, that there was so much money, that that's not where I'm at. I am not that level of wealth. Even if I sell all these bags, I am nowhere near that level of wealth. I think there's very few people in the world that are that level of wealth but I am 42 years old, I don't want to stop working yet. I don't want to be early retired at this stage. I get a great deal of fulfillment, of enjoyment, of socialization. I get a great deal of feeling like I've achieved something, that I have a value of worth from what I do and from going to work and doing my job. That is something that I don't dream of not having to do yet. I don't dream of not going and actually conducting what I'm qualified to do. I enjoy it. it it's, it's something I'm very lucky and I know I'm very lucky that the job that I do on a daily basis is something I enjoy and it's something that I would not be choosing right now to not be doing. Because if I look down the rest of my life, which Hopefully, hopefully, there's still quite a significant number of years to live. I don't see, for me, at this stage, not working. I don't see fulfilling the next 40 years, if I'm lucky enough to live that long, without going and, for me, having a purpose during the day, going somewhere, giving back, being able to have, from what I earn, the ability to give on a monthly basis, to do things. And I just don't aspire to that right now. So yes, I can understand why people are thinking you would be closer to being retired, but that's not a choice that I want to make for me right now. And that's a very personal choice. And I think it will depend on the situation you're in, what you do, if you enjoy what you do, all of those things. And yes, before anybody asks me, I get huge joy and fulfillment from my children. Of course I do. I have the greatest respect for stay-at-home mums because it's not something that I feel would be best for me. And I'm sure that I have to be careful talking about this because there's going to be people that feel one way or the other way and I'm maybe at risk of offending somebody and that's not my intention. For me, I feel better about myself when my children are with me and cared for, but I'm also doing something else. And both of my children, one's at preschool and one's at school. So I wouldn't be with my children all day. Come September, they're both at school. 
I wouldn't be with them all day. There would be a big chunk of the day that they're not here. And for me, I don't want to stop working yet and not have that other aspect to my life. Another thing for me is if you've watched my video on my financial background, I have achieved what I have achieved probably against the odds. I don't come from money. I don't come from a wealthy background. I don't come from a business background, but I have achieved what I have achieved because my mum instilled in me a drive and a work ethic and a need to actually do. And I think that has stood me in really good stead. And I think that has helped me with my attitude to business. It's helped me with my attitude to trying to keep my children grounded, to being good to my staff, to doing my job as best as I can, and to wanting to work. And I want to set the same example for my children as my mum set for me. Now, that being said, I don't want it to be as hard for them as it was for my mum and for me. I want that to be a little bit easier and for them to have the benefit of what I have been able to achieve, but not to the point that they're entitled brats and not to the point that they feel privileged and not to the point that they think everything's handed to them because that's not the real world. And in my opinion, I feel I would be setting them up to feel if I made it that easy and if I didn't prepare them for the world out there, especially if they go into business, it's not easy. It's not always nice. And I think I am doing the right thing as much as anybody can ever know as a parent by preparing them and trying not to make it that easy and not to have their attitude be privileged, entitled, disrespectful. I just don't want that for my children. Secondly, what we all do with our money is our own choices. You get the judgment when you buy these things. We know that, we've talked about that before. And what I do with my money is I choose to separate it out. And I choose to have certain amounts that goes into sensible things, investments, all of those policies, things that are managed, that all happens. But I do choose to have a certain amount of it to be frivolous with and to have fun. I love, I love these. Look, they're shiny. They're shiny and they're sparkly and they make me smile and they make me happy. And when I'm wearing outfits and I wear one of these, woohoo, look at my shiny bag. I love it. When I go with my friends and we go shopping or we're having fun, I, I love it. I really get a vibe from it. I feel very happy and I don't want to give it up. As much as I could liquidate these, use the money, put it into other things, add it in with the other money, this is one of the things in life that makes me happy. And that may make me a very materialistic person. It may make me a very superficial person. It may make me whatever you want to decide that makes me, but I enjoy it. And it's one of the many threads to my life that makes my life what it is and makes me very, very happy. I'm very lucky. I'm very privileged in the life that I live with my husband, my children, my dogs, my family, my friends, travel, my all of that, my work, all of that. This is one of those threads. It's one of the things that I enjoy and it makes me happy. And selfishly, I don't want to give that up. I don't want to give up this interest that I have, this hobby. This has led me to some of the people in my life that I adore. It has led me to Dale, to Meredith, to Deb, to Gwenny, to Steph, to Nick, to Lisa, to so many people that I now, to Connor, to Stella, I could keep quoting names. People that I really, really enjoy. People that I'm very close to. If you take Dale, Dale Meredith and Deb, people that I class as very, very close friends of mine that I can trust to tell or to go to if I need to speak to them. This led me to them. It's a joint interest. I'm not saying that I think if I stopped buying these, they would stop being my friend. I don't think that at all. I think they're there till, I don't think we're getting rid of each other, put it that way. But I don't want to lose this connection that we, we all enjoy. I don't want to give this up. 
So choosing not to put this money into more real estate or other things is because I, it's my choice and I love it and I enjoy it and I don't want to decide not to do it. Another part of what I was asked was that I could live by the beach. I love by, being by the beach. I've talked about it. The Maldives absolutely love it. I love going there. But I have two young children in school. I have a husband who would go demented if he didn't work. I have four children. Or four children. They're kind of children. They're my dogs. Four dogs as well as my two children. It's not realistic yet for us to live that lifestyle because my children are settled here at school. They're at a good school. They're at a school that teaches as well as academic. It teaches, it's integrated. It teaches about taking people for who they are, about not judging for colour, race, creed, sexuality, any of that. I think that's really important. They're thriving there. They have their clubs, they have their friends, they have their cousins, they have their grandparents. So to take them away from that right now, I don't think would be in their best interests. So I don't think that's realistic right now. Yes, I choose to go on quite a few holidays when I can and go to the sea because it's my happy space. But it's not realistic for me as everyday life right now. So that's not a reason for me to sell all of these right now. Yes, we do plan for the future, but it's not, it's not a trade-off. It's not that if these were gone, that would happen. It's not as simple as that. Also, I get asked about, you would have more money in your investments and the more money that's in your investments, the more money you make. That's generally how they work. Well, yes, true. But my choice is to spend some of it on this because I enjoy it. And that's a choice everybody has to make for themselves individually and personally and taking into account their own situation. This was a bit of a chit chat on <laughs> why I choose to do this when I could be using the money to other things and be being more productive with my money. And it came from this comment that I just thought I would talk about. It was in my mind. And as I said, it's not that I feel I need to owe anybody an explanation, but I felt it was interesting and something that I was willing to talk about. If you've enjoyed this or found it interesting, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment box. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen to enjoy. If you haven't yet, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.